Hey, Visions of Matt here for Saturday, September 14th, 2019. That's right, the day after Friday the 13th. And I went to some garage sales today. I got a few things I want to show you guys, video game related. And then I also went to this other um, garage sale. I'm going to save that to the end because it's not actually video game related, but it is unique. So stay tuned till the end. You're going to check, want to check this out. Um, so I went to this church sale and I was looking around, looking around. I didn't see a whole lot there. Um, but then I was I went made my way to the back and I guess it's a good idea to check the back first because I think most of their people start in the front and work the way back. I went to the back and I did see seven Game Boy games in the case still. And I asked her how much the Game Boy cases were. I mean the Game Boy games were. She said fifty cents each. And I was like, Well, can you do um all seven for three dollars? And she's like, Sure, alright, I'll do that. So let's go over what games I got in here because there's some that aren't that good and some that are. Um, a centipede millipede combo game f1 race which is a pretty cool racing game already have it super mario land 2 which is one of the good games um, a really really fun platformer game for game boy super mario land which is another one of the really good games um, the original um, mario platforming game for the game boy Yoshi, which is a pretty cool puzzle game. It's not the best. I'm not in love with this game, but I do like Yoshi. The Jungle Book, I've never played it before, so I'll see what that's like. And finally, The Lion King. I guess this person was into Disney. So yeah, so I got, like I said, I got these for three bucks. Um, I like that they come in the original cases. Um, it just brings back some memories when I see those things. So then I kept walking around a little bit, and then I saw this Wii that was sitting on top of a um a Wii board you know those boards that you go on and they can do those different um for that that Wii sport that Wii Fit game one of those things but I, I didn't want those because those aren't really worth anything um so I went up to the lady and asked her how much she wanted for the Wii it comes with the Wii and it is a GameCube Wii which I think a lot of them are so it's just nice to know that this one is it came with the um power adapter and it came with the sensor thing so I asked her how much and she's like five bucks and I was like well you know it doesn't even have the Wii Motes I mean how am I supposed to play it so I was like I was like if we take two dollars for it and she's like all right sure honestly if I said we take a buck for it she probably would have said sure for that too but two dollars for a Wii um and the power cable and the Wii Mo and the um sensor thing I thought was a pretty good deal so I grabbed it I thought I was done with the video game stuff guys but then I went through the neighborhood that I actually grew up in and I saw that there was a yard sale sign going on and um I went to this yard sale and I was looking around, didn't see too much. Then I saw this box. It says Game Boy Advance. And I looked inside the box and there's a lot of stuff, in, well not a lot, but there's a good amount of stuff. Uh, first I'll just show you the, kind of the boring stuff. The instruction manuals for the DS, um, Atari Game Boy Advance manual, Greatest Hits manual, and another Game Boy Advance manual. Um, there's a bunch of like stuff for um, like charging your Game Boy Advance, I guess. This is like a charger. There's like a Pelican battery pack for your GBA or for your, I don't know if this is for your Game Boy Advance or for your DS. Um, it did come with an official charger for the, um, for the GBA. Um, but hang on, I'm getting to the good stuff. It came with, it's gonna get better as I go along. It came with a um, GameStop branded car adapter. And then two, two, I don't know what this is like, cases. And then it also came with, oh, one more Pelican GBA adapter thing, or battery thing. It came with a uh, Nintendo DS, the original one. Now, the only thing with this is that the screen, you could tell the hinge is loose. So I'm gonna have to see if I can fix that. I don't know if that's, I mean, it's, if it's an easy fix, it looks like a piece of the plastic broke off. If I had the piece of plastic, I could probably just super glue it, but I don't think I have that. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this, um, but it's cool that it's the original Game Boy um, DS. I haven't actually tested this one yet, but I will. Um, it came with a stylus, although that, already, that also already has a stylus. It came with a Game Boy Advance Target Edition, purple. Um, I had always seen these, but I never actually even, I mean, I've seen these online, but never actually seen one in person before. So I was pretty stoked to see that it was the Target Edition one. Um, I did turn it on, and the D-pad needs a little work, guys. I don't know. There's, like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to have to open it up and see if I could, like, clean it out or, or get a new, like, rubber pad for underneath here. Um, but other than that, it's it's in pretty good shape. There is There are a few little scratches on the screen, 
um, but nothing too major. I might just keep this in my collection. But also included in this lot of Game Boy Advance games were four games. But it may look like four games, but it's actually a lot more. So if you look at the the, um, the cases, you got Pokemon Diamond, Curve. This guy is a huge. Whoever had this was a huge Kirby fan. Kirby uh, Kirby Canvas Curse, uh, Kirby Squeaks Squeak. I can't say that word. Squeak Squad, and then also Kirby Super Star Ultra, which is an awesome game. But then, like I was going through these, I was actually looking through the cases, and let's see what let's see what's inside of them. So I open them up, and the stuff actually starts to fall out because like look at this one. Not only does it have the um, Superstar Ultra, it has Super Mario DS inside, and then it has a Metroid Hunters, Prime Hunters game. So it's really like three games, it came with three games. Um, so that was the Kirby Superstar Ultra case. Then I opened up the Kirby uh, Squeak Squad case. And like I said, this person loved Kirby. So they had Kirby and the Amazing Mirror cartridge for GBA, along with the Squeak Squad, and then they even had the manual for the GBA um, game. So a lot of bonuses here. Canvas Curse, Kirby Canvas Curse. Open that one up. Let's see what's in here. Another Kirby. Look at this Kirby. I mean, it's Kirby everywhere. Kirby um, Return to Dreamland, which is another awesome Kirby game. And then the manual for the Canvas Curse. And finally, Pokemon Diamond. Open that one up. And it has Pokemon Diamond, the manual. And then it also has... Um, what is that? Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits. So I'll check that out. Sounds pretty cool. So a lot of bonuses in here. So it was a two, it was a DS, the, uh, the, um, GBA, these four games is really like 10 games. And then a bunch of random accessories and batteries for 20 bucks. She went to $25. Uh, well, first she called her husband up and she's like, he's like, oh yeah, he wants 25. I was, like, I was thinking more like 10. And he was, and then she was like, well, 20 is the lowest that we can go. And, and I was like, all right, let me think about it. Walked around a little bit. Um, I held the box. This other guy started looking at it like he wanted it. Um, and I was like, I'll just do 20. And I just left. And the guy wasn't even there. She, she like called him on the phone. So um, I just wanted to get out of there. Anyway, the first yard sale that I went to, I was telling you guys that I found something kind of unique that you probably haven't seen in many years. This is something that I used to play with when I was a kid um, in the 80s, late 80s. Um, not so much in the 90s because they kind of weren't really popular in the 90s. But... Um, it's a really cool thing. Like I just, I had totally forgot about them until I saw them at this yard sale. And this lady must have had these things forever. Do you guys remember these things? The viewfinder things, or what, viewmaster? I'm sorry, viewmaster. I mean, it's so cool. You can like look at different scenes from different uh, movies and everything. Family affair. This one says, I don't know what that is. I guess it maybe was a TV show or something from back in the day. I used to love these things. This one is lighted. There, it takes batteries in this. Like you can actually light it up so it's even brighter. It also came with this one, which is like a different type. But look at how many different cartridges this thing's came. I don't, know if, I don't know what you call these things, cartridges or discs or what, but this isn't all of them. But these are some of them right here. Here's, and then it came with this thing here. Um, but in, in addition to that, this lady was really into it because there's a whole other thing of them. And guys, look at all these different discs. I counted them, I did a rough count. There's roughly, a hundred discs all together. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, looking through some of these, it's like Superman, Pinocchio, it's a lot of Disney stuff, Christmas Story, um, Spider-Man, Sleeping Beauty, Beverly Hillbillies, it's like TV shows from the 70s and 80s, E.T., Extraterrestrial, um, I don't know what that is, Snoopy, it's just some random stuff in here. And I showed them to my kids and they were loving them. Toy Story, 101 Dalmatians. So um, yeah, I was excited to see I looked these up online. Um, if you have this many discs, um, they can go for like a hundred bucks if you have this many. Um, so I was, I was glad to see that these are actually valuable, um, somewhat valuable anyway. And um, I think I paid like 15 bucks for all these. But I don't even know if I'm gonna sell them honestly. I might just keep them and just play with them with, just show them to the kids and uh, enjoy them. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for today, but I hope you enjoyed my uh, my pickups today for, for um, this Saturday afternoon, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.